Hey guys, Silencio here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. If you're wondering why I'm sounding a bit less enthusiastic today, uh, it's because I'm still going through some hardships with um, the breakup with the friend of mine. So, anyways, um, let's get down to it. I'm going to talk about all the important stuff that needs to be talked about. Um, so first of all, if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, I highly recommend you to do so because if you didn't, um, you probably might have missed out the first day on the STEM rally that's going on currently for the um, upcoming Macross um, Frontier uh, Galaxy Life Revenge um, ticket campaign. So yeah, so if you've only noticed this today, which is um, at this point of time that I'm recording, it's technically the 22nd of September 2021 in Japan. So as you can tell, my first day stamp has been filled up. So if you guys who have been following me on Instagram, you probably have done this already. If not, I'm so sorry for you guys who are only following me on YouTube. There's no way to inform you guys earlier. I had work during that point of time when all this started. So I only can record right now. So okay, so first thing first, you need to stamp all the days, as many days as possible, of course, to try and win a ticket for the live concert in Japan. For us international fans, sadly to say we are not able to win the ticket. However, Dana isn't that you know, uh, cold-hearted, so they've <clears throat> they've given us an additional option um, to win a thousand singing stones. So, even for Japanese fans who don't want the ticket because maybe they are a bit afraid of the COVID situation, um, definitely they have the option to choose to win the thousand singing stones, just like us international fans. So, to stamp the card, just press onto the pink button, and you will place the stamp for the day itself. Now, if you're looking at this for the first time, um, when you stamped your first stamp, it will probably bring up this page. Now, it has your player ID right here, so you can press the blue button to have it copied. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to go into the website. Um, the game will bring you to the website, and of course, as you can tell, I've already filled up my information. Basically, I will <clears throat> do a replay of what I did. Um, when I try to fill up the information. So once you enter the web page, you scroll all the way down and look for the I agree with all the terms and condition button, which is kind of like a grayish form of a long button. Once you tap that, it gives you the option to choose between winning the live ticket or the thousand singing stones. So highlight whichever one you prefer. Of course, if you're an international fan who is actually living within Japan, you still have a chance to win the live um, live concert ticket. So you can go ahead and choose that option if you are able to. Um, for us outside of Japan, of course, the 1000 Singing Stone is definitely a better option. So after that, they will definitely require you to put in your um, account ID. And from there, you put in your ID because you've copied it. And of course, the next thing you need to do is just submit it. Um, yeah. So whatever other information I probably might have missed out, um, you guys can see from the video. Uh, just do the necessities and then of course uh, head back you know, into the game and do your usual gameplay stuff. So let's do that, let's dive back into the game. So this is out of the way now. So let's talk about um, the main thing of course, which is Ranka's brand new episode plate. And of course, if you guys are just looking to unlock Ranka's brand new, well, not so new costume, it's actually <laughs> her default school uniform um, that we see in the TV series, uh, finally getting it added into the game. So yeah, so for those of us who are Ranka fans, do not fret. The costume isn't exactly locked behind this gacha. Cheryl's is actually. So Cheryl Gnome's school uniform, which is the upcoming gacha, is locked behind a paid wall. Um, for Ranka fans, at least for us, we can still attain costume points through the event itself. Um, 
So that's not too bad. So the other option is just unlock the costume with episode orbs. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plate. Um, it's 3760 with the plus 25 luck value. Um, if you're looking to see what the um, episode plate is like for its uh, non plus 25 luck value variety or version, um, let me just look at the wiki for a quick moment. Um, yeah, it's. Its total score without the plus 25 luck value is at 3510, which is pretty okay. It's not the highest. It seems like most of the new plates nowadays are somewhat lacking in the total ability. Um, but usually it comes with very good skills. Uh, I guess that's how Dana is balancing out the gameplay. So if you've got good total scores, the episode plate may not have fantastic skills, which is fair. Um, but you know, once in a while they will have really really unbalanced episode plates. Um, those are the kinds that you really need to get. So yeah, with the 25 plus, uh, plus 25 luck value, it's at 3760. Um, highest stat on the episode plate is of course the charm factor, which is what the current event song requires. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and of course, the secondary stat is soul, voice is suffering of course. Um, pay attention to the 3 other divas who can use the episode play, especially since we are currently going through the diva improvement event where, you know, having specific divas being capable of using certain episode plays, especially those with the bonus percentages, uh, it's gonna play a very big role. Um, so yeah, center skill. Charm up, so units charm is boosted by 90% So it's fantastic um, for I guess the current event uh, That is if you don't have a 7 star uh, Macross Frontier episode plate Especially if it's a charm type um, If it's not Kira fight, I think you don't really have to worry about the type of the episode plate As long as it's a Macross Frontier episode plate, you will have that double S um, active skill on center skill uh, so that's fantastic enough all right moving along active skill life recovery of 30 percent so it's pretty mediocre in terms of its active skill we always know that the 50 percent healing ability is still the highest out there life skill however this is the one that is the most important um, so as you can tell from the triangle icon it means that it's meant for a short duration song which is Strangely enough, this current event song is kind of in the middle. It is both not too long, not too short. But apparently, since they are focusing on the short duration abilities, I guess um, you should try and focus your setup on you know improving short duration ability skills. So if you've got those um, episode plays that improve such um, skills with the you know flat triangle design. Um, that would be beneficial for the game. Um, so okay, moving along. Um, yeah, no special notes attached to the episode plates. So is this a must? Uh, like I always said, if you don't have episode plates with such life skills um, within your collection, I think it's always nice to have one, um, you know, on hand just in case. You know, if there's ever a high score challenge once again. It might help out some way or another. Um, as for Ranka fans, like I said, it is still not a must to obtain this episode plate. After all, we do get costume points from the current events episode plates itself. So you can just treat this discounted um, gacha pool as a bonus. Or you can technically save your 300 singing stones and just use the event tickets um, to pull the gacha and try to gain more points or even the episode play itself um, to unlock the costume at an easier pace. Um, then there's one other thing we need to talk about which is this brand new step up gacha style. Apparently yesterday when this gacha was released, it's the first time we've ever gotten such a treatment. Um, at the last step which is step 7, so this is the first step up gacha that has like the highest step value. Normally it goes up to step 6 and that's it. So at step 7, um, 
you are guaranteed a copy of Min Mei's six star episode plate. So um, when I was talking about this to, with a Min Mei f- um, fan of a friend, um, she she likes Min Mei a lot. So um, I was telling her about it in case she might not have this episode plate of hers. Um, that yeah, you can actually get a guaranteed six star episode plate for Min Mei's seven star episode plate um, from the crossover life costume. So. Yeah, if this continues on as a trend, um, I think most of us who are lacking our husband those or wife waifu's episode plates within the six star or seven star collection, um, we can definitely make use of this, you know, step up gacha style to attain them in the future, uh, and it will be at a lot cost uh, less costly rate. Uh, rather than pulling from the featured banners and all that kind of stuff. So it might also hint that Dana is leading the game towards uh, maybe more um, deadly manner to our wallets in the future. You know, maybe a more powerful version of 7-star episode plates. Um, you know, maybe the return of 7-star plates with special note attachments or maybe better skills, that kind of stuff. So. It's a bit worrying, but it's nice to see that Dana is uh, treating the fans right in some way well, while still earning our money at least. So yeah. So I'm looking forward to my waifu's um, future step up gachas like these. Uh, so I'm trying to save as much singing stones as I can, you know, since considering they are still giving out event gacha tickets, uh, which is always good for the free to play players. So do consider how you spend your singing stones wisely from here on out because if this is a trend from now on, please make use of this. Uh, it's definitely costly considering that um, only two steps are kind of discounted. So it's 300 singing stones first, then 500 singing stones, 400 singing stones, 500, then 500 all the way. So that's a lot of singing stones, almost about 2000 plus. So yeah, if you really want to gain a confirmed guaranteed 6 star copy of that featured diva in that step up gacha so well consider you know along the way while trying to get that confirmed copy you might come across other 7 star episode plates you know within your gacha pools just keep that in mind so yeah okay so um we're gonna do this as usual um I'm gonna go with the free single pool first. I'll keep Ranka's um, template pool to the last because that's the main thing about today's video, I guess. Alright, here we go. So, no loads, no Valkyries, so that's kind of expected, you know, considering the, be the beginning of the month we've already drained away all the last remaining drops of luck. <coughs> Okay, so costume point plate and it's pretty rare since I don't have that many copies. That's not too bad. We do have to pull the super dimension gacha considering that I've got some tickets that might expire soon. So let's double check. So yeah, 2nd of October. Well technically I could keep the episode plates, I mean I mean the pools for Cheryl's gacha, so <laughs> Okay, we will keep it for Cheryl's Gacha. So like I mentioned earlier, I will highly recommend you guys to follow me on Instagram. Links in the description down below, like I said in the last video as well. Please follow me there if you don't want to miss out on anything in the future. Okay, we do get a single Valkyrie animation for this free daily pool. So this one is from the evening period. Okay, it seems pretty rare. Decently rare since we are in the double digits for this one. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do the template pool now. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna spend the singing stones on the gacha pool. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the event gacha tickets for this one, and that should be it. Okay, we get some load there. So yeah, recently, like in the last video, you noticed that the game is kind of like glitching out with all the loading. Um, 
I think it's because of all the recent changes to the save states for this game. Uh, so it's a bit unbalanced. Okay, we do get two red boxes on the second bling. So I'm not expecting anything fantastic from this pool. Hopefully next month, the luck is back. Okay, so red box didn't evolve. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, so we get more costume points for the school uniform. That's fantastic. And no evolution. So both red boxes are technically old episode plates. So that's kind of uh, sad. Oh well. So yeah, anyways, like I said, be thrifty with your singing stones considering now that there's a new step up gacha style going around. Um, I'm still considering to pull Makina's Mirai on costume gacha. Um, but with this new step up gacha on hand, I don't know if ever those episode plates become like the step up gacha style. I'd rather do the step up gacha <laughs> than pull the um, featured brand new costume gacha. You know, at least it guarantees me uh, the episode play in the future. And like I said, um, maybe while trying to attain that guaranteed plate, we might come across a few more other rarer plates out there in the game. So anyway guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode. Um, today, I apologize for the gloomy atmosphere, but you know, uh, the heart still aches. And yes, as usual, I really appreciate it if you guys like, share, subscribe, and of course, follow me on Instagram. I cannot emphasize it enough. Please follow me there just in case you missed out on any critical information that I cannot share immediately. Uh, Instagram is the way to go. So anyway guys, until then, bye.